going to start a new series here. Uh, in the past, I've had my around the farm series, um, but a lot of what I've done is just fixing stuff in the shop. So I think I'm going to start a new series called Around the Shop. Uh, it's going to be more of uh, mechanical fixes and stuff like that. Uh, if I'm doing any work around the farm, I'll still probably record some videos for that series. But uh, I want to take a little bit different approach to this one, more of a how-to sort of thing. So um, what I'm going to be working on first here is my uh, livestock trailer. <coughs> I uh, brought it in the shop because I was going to replace some lights and stuff like that. There was a lot of lights that weren't weren't working and whatnot. And I crawled underneath it and I found my suspension was almost at catastrophic failure level. Um, this is the equalizer that goes between the two leaf springs, between the two axles. And this is supposed to be a round hole. Uh, and this is the bolt that was going through that hole. Uh, so you can see here that uh, this was this was really close to something bad happening. Uh, obviously this one busted off when I put my, my impact on it. Uh, and that's what I had to do to get it out. But um, that is not not cool at all. That comes from a lot of years of, of nobody rolling underneath this thing. Uh, and so got all new parts. I got my new equalizers over here. Uh, I've got new bolts and everything for the suspension. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get the suspension put back together here. Uh, and then I'm going to rewire the whole trailer. Uh, and I'm going to you know, hook up all the new lights. And I'll probably put new brakes on it as well. So... Uh, I'm going to bring you guys along for that, kind of show you what I'm doing as I go. And uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. One of the things I did different this time was uh, replacing these bolts. I did go ahead and spend the extra money and get the greasable ones. Uh, so hopefully that will help uh, with future wear. But uh, we'll have to see. Uh, a big part of having greasable things is making sure you grease them. But um, I'm thinking that will make a big difference. So. Just wanted to throw that out there before I get this part put together. All right, so my main equalizer is in place here. Now I got to tighten the nut yet, but this is what's called a slipper spring system. And so each one of these leaf springs has an eyelet, but it's also got a slipper end. And so that end will sit up inside of here. There's a bolt that goes through that just holds it in place so it can't fall out the bottom. But that allows that end to slide back and forth in here. And what it does is it keeps the, the load equalized. So we'll go ahead and since I've got the jack under this side, we'll go ahead and do this side first. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, in the eyelet ends of the leaf springs, there's typically plastic bushings. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the plastic bushing in there and then we'll raise that up and put the bolt in here. Now when I get to putting the bolt in, I'm going to show you guys the bolts that I'm using. Um, they have a knurled end to them and it's tempting to put regular bolts in here, but what that knurled end will do is it'll keep the bolt from spinning. Uh, and so that is kind of important, I believe, to uh, have that in there. Here's that knurled end I was talking about that'll bite into that steel so that this bolt isn't actually allowed to turn. Uh, that would wear the bolt down faster, and that's why you don't want to do that. So now we're going to go ahead and jack this up, get that bolt slipped in there. And then these have lock nuts on them, so you don't have to tighten the ever-living piss out of them. Uh, you don't want to pinch that spring between the equalizer. Uh, so that's important as well. All right, guys, there you have it. I got my springs and my hangers and everything back in place. Just got to tighten down a few of the nuts, and uh, this side is done. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side, and uh, then I've either got to wire it next or uh, I've got to get these brakes apart and uh, figure out if I need new brakes. So that'll probably be the next video, but I just wanted to do a, a short little one here on how these slipper springs work uh, and, and how to replace the equalizers and whatnot. So. Thanks for watching the first episode of Around the Shop. Uh, there'll be many more to follow, and uh, make sure you guys leave it a like. Thanks.